Jimmy Camacho will kick away for the Bulldogs. Mistimed to start. Any type of trickery here? No trickery. Short kick. And it's grabbed by Trayvon Diggs, who's got an alley. It gets closed down across the 25-yard line. Jerron Bryant on the tackle. Damian Harris starts in the backfield with Jalen Hurts. On first down, it's Cam Sims. And Cam Sims with an excellent play on the screen pass out across the 40-yard line. He'll pick up 18. Hurts with good blocking in front of him. And there goes Jalen Hurts. Hurts towards the pylon. And he is in for a touchdown. Virgil's protected, looking for Rice, his tight end, and a little bit off target on that toss. Incomplete. This drive starts from the 38 with a Hurts pass and a catch for Calvin Ridley and a toss to Adnan Burke in the studio. And set for a big All-American final. Out in Flushing. Damian Harris on the screen. Excellent pursuit by this Fresno State defense. Nathan Madsen with that initial penetration blew up the play. Blitz from Fresno State. Hurts runs against it. And Hurts has the first down into Fresno State territory to the 45. Harris on the move. Close to a first down. Those of you on ESPN News. On second and short. On the perimeter, it's Sims. He's got a first down. Third and three. Hurts trying to make something happen. Good penetration up front by Jeffrey Allison. The drive, the push, initially looks like enough. Tenth play of this Alabama drive is a Hale Henches touchdown. And the outmatched Fresno State Bulldogs go back to work for their third offensive series. On the move, it's Keyshawn Johnson, the top target for Fresno State, out to the 37-yard line. A lot of movement on both sides. Offside, number 49 defense in the neutral zone, causing a reaction by the offense. The five-yard penalty results in a first down. But Mississippi State wanted him to gray shirt, and Virgil didn't want to do that. He's a very competitive guy, so he found Fresno State, a place where he could get a chance to play relatively quickly. Now his second year as the starter for the Bulldogs. Screen for Scott. And a first down for Damori Scott and more. Staying in bounds into the red zone. Keyshawn Johnson at the bottom of the formation. Virgil, will he make it? No. He had Jamie Mosley stepping into that Jack linebacker spot today. They have a Lou Groza semifinalist on their roster. That's not Jimmy Camacho. He beat out Cody Croning for the kicking job this fall. From 27, he gets the Bulldogs on the board. Bulldogs are offsides. To the edge for Jerry Judy, his first career catch. The true freshman out of Louisiana. Bulldog blitz, Hurts finds Ridley. 
Calvin Ridley, the freshman All-American two years ago. He wants to pump those numbers back up to that freshman season. He already had the DB turning like he was running down the sidelines. Just an excellent route by that young man. Underneath, it is Ridley tackled by Juju Hughes. Why is he an NFL wide receiver? He might be the Amari Cooper 2.0. Here's Bo Scarborough trying to be the chain mover. And he'll take it to the 24-yard line of first down. The confusion in the backfield. Jalen Hurts getting the protection set. Got to like that. Scarborough <laughs> makes the man miss. Boy, he got James Bailey to dive. Scarborough again. First down again. First down from the 12 for Alabama. Scarborough shifting. And Bo Scarborough close to the sticks. This is a, this is a heck of a backfield and add Jalen Hurts into the equation. Here he is. Touchdown. Alabama mixing up the coverage here, Adam. They just make a change, see if they can get one off. Bringing heat late. Underneath a first down for Rice. Jared Rice, the tight end, taken down by Wallace, but that moves the sticks for the Bulldogs. High snap, Virgil trying to recover it, still loose, and recovered by David Patterson, the right tackle. Back near the 20-yard line. They get the ball back, so at least they can punt it away. On the move, Diggs, and they'll start this series in Fresno State Territory, will the Tide. It's the much-anticipated debut of the freshman from Hawaii, Tua Tungo Bailoa. First Alabama pass is a completion to Robert Foster, close to a first down. Early enrollee came in January to the Crimson Tide. Now he has to do it in the game, but this kid can wing the ball. You'll see the winding motion, interesting passer, but he can definitely throw it. Another catch for Ridley. It's a first down as we check in with Chris Cotter. Tonga Bailoa under pressure. Still on his feet, but ends up eating it back behind the 40-yard line. Allison with the stop. Virgil underneath, and it's Keyshawn Johnson for a first down. Let's check in with Chris Cotter. What's up, CC? Offense not necessarily the issue last week, though, for Texas. It was the defense giving up 51 to Maryland. Next week, Texas goes on the road to take on the USC Trojans. Good play by Damari Scott close to the sticks. Virgil. Good catch by Kyle Rittering, the tight end. He's got the first down out to the 40-yard line in front of Hootie Jones. Virgil under pressure, throwing it deep, diving attempt by Jameer Jordan, but could not corral it. So they can basically do it together with Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator. Design quarterback run. First down on the quarterback run on a gain of 10. By the way, if you were curious why the ball was spotted at the 23 that time. To his receiver, favorite receiver on the bottom, Calvin Ridley. Looking right there. Jaron Bryant on the stop. And it really does take away a lot of the different things you can do on defense because he's so versatile. Foster on the sweep into Fresno State territory to the 46. Hurts on the move. Another great run for Jalen Hurts inside the 20-yard line down to the 18. Uh, and, and Rocky's right. I mean, this player is so dynamic with his legs. He does have to grow as a passer. There's no question. There's a lot of open receivers versus Florida State, but this football team definitely has done well with him. How about the speed of Ridley inside the 10-yard line? Running another jet sweep for him. 
If Fresno State continues to get tire running sideline to sideline, that's when they'll start chomping at you inside the tackles and making plays. Harris with the cut and the push for the touchdown. He hit open receivers. He wasn't a guy throwing 50-yard bombs all day. They just want him to be a little bit more uh, elaborate in the passing game, hit those open guys. You don't have to hit a ton of balls in the very, very tight windows. Just a field goal against Nick Saban's defense, and all the touchdowns came on Jalen Hurts' drives. Chris Cotter, Jonathan Vilma, Chip Kelly, so happy to toss it to you guys. For Jason Virgil. A one-time Mississippi State commit goes to work to start the half. And it is Damari Scott with the catch. Scott again. And he's got the first down. You know, Jason Virgil does have a pretty good head coach if he wants to improve as a quarterback. And not only has he had quarterbacks, but skill position players, J.J. Arrington, Javad Best, Marshawn Lynch, yep. Deshaun Jackson. So there's been some big time names coming out of his offensive playbook. We talked about Minka, Mr. Personal foul, face mask, number 29 defense. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Virgil for Rice through his hands. I might need a pick for you, from you, Rocky, between Clemson's D-line and Ohio State's D-line as Harris takes it for a first down. Just because of the depth, Adam, I take Ohio State. Maybe man for man. I love Dexter Lawrence and Christian Wilkins, but man for man, I think uh, the depth-wise gives it to me for Ohio State. Hurts shifting for another first down to the 36. I don't know, Rocky. Blitz picked up. First down. Did he lose the football though? Calvin Ridley, it is going to be ruled down at midfield or incomplete? Incomplete. Ruling on the field is incomplete pass. Jordan Mims, the freshman, on the edge. Ronnie Harrison. One of those future NFL stars is there. But a lot of people right now hunkering down in, uh, inside the state of Florida and our prayers and wishing them well through this uh, hurricane season. And again, there's some thought that it might reach this part of the country too, even creeping up into Atlanta, into Birmingham, into Macon, Georgia. First down for Hertz. He finds Irv Smith for his first career reception. Sophomore out of New Orleans takes it to the 38. First down again for Scarborough. Let's not forget, obviously, our friends in Houston and the surrounding areas. On second down. Lobbing it up there for Robert Foster. Intercepted. It will be ruled incomplete. Could not hold on to it. Jackson Finch nearly had it. Late rusher. So Hurts runs against it, and Jalen Hurts slides smartly inside the 10-yard line. Hopefully he'll be okay. Third down and goal. Najee Harris, and guess who? Jeffrey Allison, one of our hardest working players in this <laughs> game. The offense has put up 31 points today in its second game under Brian Dable. All the receivers can learn the concept. Now they're interchangeable. And then you look at how deep they are, 6-7 deep with all these young players. If they know all the positions, now they can play more. That's what the coaching staff was emphasizing, the fact that those concepts have helped these young players learn and get on the field quicker. Blitz from Fitzpatrick. Virgil gets rid of it into a tight window. Jameer Jordan took a shot. What a catch. You see him pointing out everybody on defense. The offensive line as a whole, only two TFLs versus Alabama. That's impressive. Out of the backfield to Hoke it. He gets stacked up near midfield. 
but it will be needed moving forward at some point in one of these big SEC football games in the conference play. Tua Tungo Vailoa is back in at quarterback. Najee Harris still on his feet out to the 23 yard line. Right back to him. Best run of Najee Harris's young Alabama career out near midfield. Again, this offensive line for Alabama is trying to mesh, get better. They needed to improve. Coaches talked about they needed to get a little better from last week's performance, and they definitely showed that today. Nice play by Jaron Bryant for a tackle for loss. I'm so happy for her that she's getting this opportunity to work on that Monday night football broadcast. But I will say this. Don't get too comfortable, Rex. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable. She's mine. She's on mine. I got to have her back. But you've done a great job, man. I love working with you. And uh... she approaches each and every one with the utmost preparation. Very impressive for someone of her status. Well, we uh, call the Women's College World Series together. I get to see her prep firsthand. Total pro. And like I said, this family, she's my big sister. So looking forward to it, BMO. Denzel Ward and those guys. I'm, I know the athleticism they have. They'll be around quick. I'm curious to see how Baker Mayfield's going to look tonight. Anthony Averett with the interception. And he's inside the 10-yard line. First career pick for the redshirt senior. Again, I like that out of a true freshman, too, guiding some of those players on the field. Tungo Vailoa to the end zone. And incomplete looking for Jerry Judy. Twenty two yarder from Papanastas is good. Thirty four three. I think metrically it's the fourth toughest two game stretch for any team in the country this year. Damari Scott. Trying to beat J.K. Scott. Cutting it back. Great return inside the 40. 236 yards passing, a touchdown interception, 77 yards rushing, and a touchdown. He had a big performance. They're nine deep at the receiver position, four deep at the running back position. So be a distributor in that game. Don't go out there and try to beat Deshaun Watson. Darian Grimm with a great grab on a very nice ball from Chase and Virgil. Touchdown Bulldogs. So this is not going to be an easy run for Fresno State. It might be a season of growing pains, but if they can knock off one of those teams, man, that's going to give them a lot of confidence. Speaking of confidence, Nashi Harris bringing it in his home debut. These backs for this football team, they're deep. They all have a certain talent that's unique and really, really good against some of these defenses they'll play. Haven't seen much of that yet. Wanted to see it from Tua Tungo Vailoa, the read and then the run. He is the number one dual threat quarterback coming out of high school this past recruiting cycle. All the players laughed at him, and the one guy who kind of kind of went, huh, interesting, <laughs> was Marcus. And Marcus kind of took Tua under his wing. See the touchdowns that both of these guys have, have had. I mean, that's two of the best in college football as we speak. Nice toss by... Tungo Vailoa, he was able to find Xavier Marks. I think for them it's going to come down to that defense and how does that continue to gel, that Mike Elko-led defense. Harris has the first down. And you know it's unfortunate, we had two very good quarterbacks go down to injury last week. Brian Kelly now, he's had a lot of success. You know, he's you know, one bad year last year, but other than that, he's led that team to some really good records. Henry Ruggs, the freshman, touchdown! First touchdown for the freshman from Montgomery, Alabama. I'm telling you, I had him. He got me about 40-plus points, <laughs> me and my son. I told my son to pick him, and we had him on the starting lineup. Tunnel screen here for Damari Scott from Marcus McMarion, the transfer from Oregon State. He checks in for the final couple of minutes. Had a win against Arizona, had a win against Oregon. This is a guy who's got some real experience now. He's got some skill. Nice run out near midfield. Fresno State, you're going to love this, has as many yards as Florida State did last week against this Alabama defense. 
I'm well aware that the circumstances are different. You're playing some of the second string guys and third string guys. Yep. It, it's, a, you'll end up with a really funky, cool design in your lawn. That's a, <laughs> that's a positive. No doubt. That's a good thing. A big hit on Josh Hokins, but he has a first down. They've got a good stretch at AM, Arkansas, Tennessee, LSU, but those last three are all here. So it is a relatively, again, I'm using that term very directly. It's a relatively easy schedule for Alabama. Yeah, I mean, we don't know too much about these teams heading in. We, we think Auburn's going to be good, but they're not to the end of the season. Grim, tackle, clock will hit triple zeros, and Nick Saban makes it 2-0 to start this season. That's now 66 straight wins for Alabama against unranked opponents since that loss 10 years ago to Louisiana Monroe. He rolled a lot of players in this game. That was his goal. He wanted to give a lot of looks, find some new pieces on defense at the linebacker position. Wasn't clean all the way through, but we do one, know one thing. They set an identity today, and it was behind this young man running the football.